All right, I'm so excited that you're here tonight because you are the encouragers, you are the supporters for the children uh, that are in this program, and they have worked hard. This is the first time that we have done our program separate. Uh, about four or five weeks ago, we had kindergarten and preschool, about, I don't know, 65, 70 of those that did their program. So this is the first time that we have done our program uh, on just separate from them. So we're very glad that you're here. I'm, I'm so excited and so proud of first through fifth graders. I think there's 115 in this. So, okay, and it'll take us a little bit to get in place, so be patient with us. And we'll do a little music and bring them in. Drama's coming first. above a city near you, Earth's noblest heroes have begun to assemble in the Fortress of Virtue. Known for extravagant displays of the highest virtues, they face a common enemy. Uniting together is their only defense to withstand the enemy's tricks that cannot be withstood alone. These heroes serve on the front lines every day, evidence of virtues available to every follower of Christ. On this day, a day like no other, they assemble together, the Agape League.
Identity confirmed. General Agate. Extraordinary ability, love. Identity confirmed. Shadow. Extraordinary ability, faithfulness. Shadow, I thought you said you called all the League members in. I did, General. I activated the correspondence beacons last night. Where's Iron Blade? Well, someone needs to check on him. Will you look into it? Yes. Using the HPS now. Hero positioning system. Tracking Iron Blade. Tracking. 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 Identity confirmed. Jumper. Extraordinary ability, joy. Identity confirmed. Serenity. Extraordinary ability, peace. Jumper, Serenity, good to see you. It's been too long. Things move so fast, I'd love to just sit and catch up. No time for that now. The Agape League is needed now more than ever. But first, we may have a problem. Shadow, how was the search coming? No matches found. No matches found. No matches found for what? Iron, Iron Blade. Blade. Identity confirmed. Honeycomb. Extraordinary ability. Kindness. Welcome, Honeycomb. I'm afraid our mission may have just gotten a bit more complicated. Iron Blade is missing! Oh no! I'll go look for him. Actually, let's send Freezer Burn. With his special ability, he will be able to find him more quickly. Why don't you have a seat? The others are on their way. Identity confirmed. Freezer Burn. Extraordinary ability. Patience. It's great to see you, Freezer Burn. Identities confirmed. Landwolf and Golden Girl. Extraordinary abilities. Gentleness and goodness. It looks like we are ready to begin. Circle up, everyone. Freezer Burn is going to find one of our own. Iron Blade. I'll be back before you know it, General. <laughs> I know you will, Freezer Burn. Ready? You know when I freeze time, it'll seem like no time has passed for you. Do your thing, Freezer Burn. Just let me pose in a good position. Yeah, yeah. me too. Here we go. Just never fall. I'm sure that Freezer Burn will return with Iron Blade. Already back. Man, Freezer Burn, you do not mess around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, did you find Iron Blade? I did. Wonderful. Is he here? Yeah, that's the thing. Thank you, Freezer Burn. With the League back together, we will be able to concentrate on the mission I called you here for. It will take each member of this team to use your unique abilities and the virtues that God has cultivated in you. Self-control, the fruit of the spirit will shine 
please pass out the mission briefings? I thought you never asked, you know. It seems there has been a serious problem in suburbiana city. People are fighting with each other over the littlest things, and everyone is so absorbed in their own personal problems that the town is falling apart. Sounds like they're lacking kindness. And they are definitely needing some joy down there. The focus of this mission is not in the entire town, but on two children, a brother and sister, Jess and Jeffrey Sandler. We need to remind them of the fruit of the Spirit, available through the Spirit of God. Honeycomb and Jumper, you will run the operation along with Freezerburn and Ironblade. Where is Ironblade? I thought you said he was here. But I've been trying to tell. Oh, there you are, Ironblade! Hey, you said you were taking me to the world's biggest arcade. Freezerburn, may I have a word with you, privately? General. Iron Blade is completely removed from reality. The only way I could convince him to come here was to pretend it was an arcade. It was the first thing that popped into my head. Hello? Do you all work here? Where do I buy tokens? Um, welcome to the Fortress of Virtue Arcade. If you just follow me, I'll show you around. Love the costumes, guys. Well, I don't understand. Why is he acting so funny? Lamb's wool. It's worse than we could have imagined. Iron Blade seems to have forgotten his superhero identity. Oh, oh, gonna happen, but, but I didn't think that that was exactly possible, General. How could he lose his ability? Oh, I didn't say he lost his ability. God gives every believer the virtues of the fruit of the Spirit when their lives are surrendered to him. Unfortunately, sometimes we tend to forget the virtues that God has made available to us through his spirit. We will do whatever it takes to help Iron Blade remember. Good. If the time I've spent in the Word has taught me anything, it's to remember to put our focus where it belongs. Let's pray, everyone. Excellent idea, Serenity. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love and for allowing us to demonstrate your love and your power to those around us. Please guide us as we dedicate this unique mission to you. Amen. Amen. I found something. The Agape interface uncovered these statistics relating to Iron Blade's last mission. Cultural immersion, distraction, the tyranny of the urgent, amusement as the highest priority, selfishness. It seems that Iron Blade has become so merged in the cultural and technological distractions that he didn't even realize that he was neglecting to display his ability, self-control. After a while, he just seemed to forget who he was. Where was his last mission posting? Checking on that. Iron Blade, last posting, Suburbiana City. Suburbiana City? Suburbiana City? Yes, he does seem to have been affected by the same selfishness and insensitivity plaguing that city. Before we can help Jess and Jeffrey Sandler, we need to help Iron Blade remember his superpower. Does anybody have a charger? My battery is low. Here, let me plug it in for you. Thanks. There's no panic like the panic you feel when your battery is down to 7%. All right, 7%. I thought if we introduce Iron Blade to what we're all about, perhaps it'll jog his memory. Fantastic. This will be fun, everyone. You go first. May the God of Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. 
100%. Yes! We're uh, happy to help. Hey, you seem familiar. I do? Yes, you do. Are you the purple Power Ranger? <laughs> uh, no. I feel strangely comfortable with you all. You do? I do. Let's all have ice cream. Where's the snack bar? Um, let's go check on that. Do we have any ice cream here? <laughs> Don't worry, he'll come around. I'm sure if he spends a little more time here at the fortress, he'll start to remember it's not a race, everyone. We just need to be patient. Whoa! What is this? What's happening? <laughs> General, what, what was that? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't mean to be picky, but your ice cream selection was not amazing. I mean, what kind of arcade only has kale smoothies? Ooh, what's a kale? I don't think it's food. <laughs> kale is a vegetable in the cabbage family. It is rich in vitamins and calcium. I'll pass. Well, I didn't know I was running an ice cream parlor. It's very healthy for you. Yum! Kale. Well, Razor Burn was just about to tell us about his special ability. What ability? Razor Burn has a unique ability to demonstrate great patience with people. What's so special about that? God gives every believer the virtue of patience through his spirit. The Bible says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits. In his word I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than little ones for Christmas morn, then a soldier waits to hear from home, or a man at the window waits for news, that will finally see his grandchild soon, my soul waits. Please pull up the statistics I sent you and display them for our team. Sure thing. 
experienced anything strange. The agape interface is definitely broken. Oh no! But what are we going to do? Then we don't have a minute to waste. How is this even possible? If an agape league member failed to display his or her ability for an extended period of time, they will lose all recollection of their true identity. And because all of our abilities function together as the fruit of the spirit, I calculate that the entire agape league will be in danger of extinction in... Approximately three hours. What? Three That's hours? not enough time. So what you're saying is, we still have three whole hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Don't worry, everyone. Gal will work this out. I need my crew to come help me spread some joy up in here. Toby. is about to crumble. Even if it seems like your fortress is about to crumble, but even if it does, our God is victorious! Woo! Oh, <laughs> you were going somewhere with that serenity. Sorry I jumped in. Do not be anxious about anything but everything by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understandings will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.
Jumper, when do you think the team will be ready to leave? I've just received a report that the situation between Jess and Jeffrey Sandler is getting worse. We need just a few more minutes, General. I have an idea how to jog Iron Blade's memory. Perhaps the problem is we've been showing Iron Blade our abilities and teaching him about the fruits of the spirit. But we haven't been giving Iron Blade a chance to exhibit his special abilities. I always thought it was so cool that Iron Blade's ability is tied in with his knowledge of scripture. Kind of a cool motivator to memorize Bible verses, right? Excuse me? Did you say something about memorizing Bible verses? Yes, are you remembering something? I feel kind of funny. Maybe it's the kale smoothie. Emergency shutdown. No, Emergency why? shutdown. Please evacuate Agape Fortress immediately. Please evacuate Agape Fortress immediately. Quick, everyone, let's help you remember by reciting scripture. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart. I have loved you with For this very reason, make every effort to add your faith, goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control. Hmm, I'm feeling kind of strange. Keep reading! And to self-control, perseverance. Hmm, this is sounding familiar. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. It's working! But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for the God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Woo! Identity confirmed. Iron Blade. Extraordinary ability. Self-control. Praise the Lord! Now we are ready to complete the mission. What a great reminder Iron Blade has given us to keep our eyes focused intently on Jesus.
fixing our eyes on Jesus. Eye on it, eye on Christ. I got my eye. I've seen them before. I was on a mission not too far from here. That's probably when I started to forget who I was. Watch yourselves, team. Be alert. Will do, Iron Blade. Jeffrey, don't do it. She's my doll. What did she ever do to you? I don't like her attitude. She looks like she's judging me with those non-thinking eyes. Jeffrey, stop it. I'm going to throw it right there in the middle of the street. You're mean. I never want to play with you again. Uh-oh, this looks like trouble. It's a pretty busy street. We need to intervene soon. Too late, he shoots, he scores! Jeffrey, I'll never forgive you. I'm gonna go get her. Wait, Jess, it's not safe. You're always trying to trick me, but I'm not going to fall for it. Jeffrey, what happened here? I don't know. I was just playing. <coughs> she is such a crybaby. Someone was just seriously hurt. We were sent to help you, Jeffrey. Looks like we got here just in time. Well, you know, sister, it's your own fault. She's always bubbly. You know, Jeffrey, the Bible says that we need to be kind to one another, but we don't have to do it in our own strength. He will give us the spirit that helps us display his kindness even when we don't feel like it. <laughs>
know what you're going through. Everyone gets angry sometimes, and everyone gets on each other's nerves. But God says there's another way. You see, God can give you the strength to have self-control and do the right thing. And the best part is, we don't have to do it alone. His spirit will lead us. Pain, Jeffrey. Sometimes you make me mad. But Jumper's been talking to me about finding joy in the little things God has given us. And I'm happy you're my brother. Well, now I feel terrible. I'm sorry, too. I guess I have a lot to learn. We're all on a journey. Let me tell you about this awesome thing called the fruit of the spirit. Watch out. The Agape League once again prevails against the powers of darkness. The Spirit of the Lord empowers them to withstand the enemy's tricks that cannot be withstood alone. They will stand to face another adventure. The Agape League. Night, Agape League. Darkness on the run. For we will overcome. Stand strong. Agape League. We will show his love. And the power from above. Unite. Unite. Agape League, unite. I don't know if you boys and girls know what that means when you get a standing ovation 
It means you did a great job. It means you did a great job. Standing ovation, you see that? Woo! I want all my leaders to come up here, every one of them, every one of my leaders, every one of the choir leaders, get up here fast. Come on, Sean, where are you? Out here, everybody, everybody, everybody. All right. I want you to see these people that are with your kids every Wednesday night. Woo! Get them. Come on, come on, come on, get out here. That's far enough. Do we have them all? Get up here, Robin. Get up here. All right, is there anybody else hiding? Oh, all the sound people, the tech people, give them a hand. Don't, don't you jump off of up there. You stay put. All right. All right. I am so thankful uh, for the time. We meet every Wednesday night. We are taking a break. Uh, the sponsors need a break, and I need a break. I, I have grandchildren graduating from high school, so I'm going to be running around the country here for a little bit. But I am so excited that we have the support from this church to do programs like this. We will start back again. You will see advertisements on what we're doing when we start back in August, so be watching for that. Now, the program, uh, if you could give the audience some light, their program on the back mentioned several things. One of them was we took um, our graphics art lady, took all these fruits of the Spirit and made a poster. And we'll not make any money on it, and you don't have to buy them, but we have them. We have 12 of them out there, and we're not making any money. They're seven fifty dollars apiece. They'd be great. They're not quite this big, but they're very big. I have them at the welcome point, and I'll be out there. And if you want to buy them tonight, they're seven fifty, dollars and you can frame them. They'd be wonderful in your child's room. Uh, or for wh wherever you want to put them in the house. But let me tell you what, these kids for a lifetime will know the fruits of the Spirit. Absolutely. So I'm very, very thankful. <clears throat> All right, I left offering trays out there just in case somebody in here wanted to give like $100,000 or whatever you, I mean, 1000 will do or $2.00. You can throw it in the offering plates, and that will help. We do everything we can uh, to supply what is needed for these programs. And it, it, takes, it takes some funding, and I have had people really support the Jam Choir program. But I just, it, it would never come together. I can't even begin to tell you between all of these leaders and all the leaders that I have in the other choirs, if you're ever interested just contact me or Robert. Where are you, Robert? Our, our, our pastor, youth pastor. Get back, back up here, children's pastor. And then, Robert, did you push B VBS? I don't know I what did. you said. I'm going to push it again. I love Vacation Bible School. And I'm telling you, you need to help us bring this community to Vacation Bible School that's in June, the second week. And we have registration cards. Take them to your neighbors. They're at the welcome point. They're on the tables. We need to get that registration really coming in immediately. Okay, what else do we need to say? We just want to thank Ms. Ruth for all the work that she does every week. And we also have flowers for Ms. Kim. That is her last musical with us. Ms. Kim, thank you for all the work from all the leaders and all the children. Thank you. All right. Did you guys enjoy that? Did they do a good job? <laughs> These girls right here are both graduates of St. Louis Christian College as of two weeks ago, something like that. This one has a job in Florida. This one has a music ministry internship in Illinois, Rushville, Illinois. 
this one just got engaged. Woo! They have been wonderful help, and I am so thankful. All right. I'm yeah. Yeah. First and second grade will be upstairs. You can pick up your, you can collect your child upstairs. Third and third, fourth, fifth is going to be in the green room. But we're going to take pictures first, right? Okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Pastor, do you have anything? <laughs> I love my church. I don't know if you realize how unique a children's ministry like that is to any church here in the St. Louis area. Do you realize how special this is? I had a, a young father of two children come to my office in the last few weeks and said that he remembers his first memories of, of a spiritual relationship with God was when he was 10 years old and in our, in our children's choir, and he had a part in that program. And he said he'd gotten away from his faith at some point, but that was an anchor, a memory that he had. You know, I parked over at Coldwater today with our big crowd. Some of you took the shuttle and came as we had a guest preacher today. There were a lot of families that were investing even in Sunday morning in sports leagues. And I had my daughters and soccer and everything. But, you know, even when you take them into a sports league, there's only a 50-50 chance they're going to win or lose when they're in a game. Every one of these kids, all 100 kids, um, won by being in this program tonight. And I want to thank you, parents. <laughs> parents, it's a huge investment of your time when you bring and involve your children in things beyond just Sunday morning, but it'll make an eternal difference in their lives. So parents, thank you for involving your kids. There's some grandparents here and some families that showed up to support these kids, and this is a great job, kids. We really are proud of you. Thank you for your hard work. You've been doing practices all this week, and let's say one more time thank you to the kids and thank you to Miss Ruth for leading them. Let's stand and close in prayer. The kids are going to take some pictures and they're done. Father God, we're so thankful for this program tonight. We're thankful for the message that does not have to be held back in any way. In some arenas, we can't pray. In some places, we can't teach the word of God. But here we can with boldness call out what the fruit of the spirit, what you're trying to do to change our character from the inside out. I pray, Father, that this message will take root in every life of every young person up here, and some parents and grandparents will today be challenged about their relationship with you. Father, we pray that every person that has heard this message will receive Jesus as Lord and Savior and eternity be changed because of your great truth. Thank you for this program tonight, for our church family. We love our church. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.